Welcome back. Let's continue our work with the hole wizard. We're going to learn how to create a hole at an angle in this video tutorial. Previously, we learned how to create a hole from a flat face. First, we select a hole type. We specify several other parameters of the hole, the type, the standard, the size, the fit, etc. Then we go to the Positions tab, and this is where we choose the placement of the hole. So we select a face and left-click to position the hole. Accept. Now let's learn how to create a hole at an angle. It's just a little more complicated. Let's create a sketch. Activate the center line command. Let's Smart Dimension now. I'll apply an angular dimension of 45 degrees. OK, and exit my sketch. Now let's insert a construction plane. I'll select this point and my construction line. Here's my plane. Let's click OK. Let's insert a second hole now with the hole wizard. I'm going to accept the default settings on the type tab. Let's go to the positions tab and let's place the hole at this point. Click Accept. As you can see, we've got a problem. Let's learn how we can fix this problem. I'm going to create another plane. Be sure the plane goes in the right direction. If it doesn't, you can flip it. A 10 millimeter offset is just fine. Now, in order to use this plane, we need to move it above the hole. I'm going to add another sketch plane. I'll use plane 2. OK. And now we're ready to edit the position sketch. Let's grab this point and drag it here. Accept. And let's exit our sketch. I'm going to go to wireframe mode now to take a better view. Let's hide plane 1. And let's insert a sketch on plane 2. Convert entities. I'll select these edges. Click Accept. Exit the sketch. Activate the extruded cut command. Let's reverse the cut direction. End condition through all. And click accept. Let's go back to shaded with edges view mode. And here is our hole at an angle. This concludes this video. In our next video, we'll learn how to create a hole on a cylindrical face. Mm -hmm.